George? Like, how how important do you think these two games are for C.J. Stroud and his draft stock? Like, how important do you think? Like, how much do you think he can change if he comes out here and wins, beats Georgia, and then wins a national championship? Let's just say, you know, let's just say for the sake of of drama, goes goes back and avenges a game two in the national championship against Michigan and wins wins them both convincingly. Is he the I, no doubt, no brain, number one guy? No 20, doubt, no brain. 30, yeah. Three hundred thirty million dollars, like doesn't even have to show up to the combine. Because this is where you you show that metal. Remember, you were just talking about your the, right. the jacket with the other fellas. Nobody questions his passing ability, Felder. Nobody questions no. his ability to process, Felder. Nobody really questions him being in there at such a young age. Like he only has two losses in his career, and they're both Michigan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Now it's about uh, the medal. Who who else got Ohio Oregon State? Got Oregon. Yeah. Three. So he's got three losses. But to go down to Atlanta and bring a, an Ohio State team that, you know, they're not really being celebrated right now, making it mm-hmm. into this thing, like, you don't give a shit. So in we are. Here we come. And Georgia's, they may not be the White Walkers, but, I mean, they're, they're walking enough. This is still the most vicious unit in the dance. Go in there and make some plays against this team. Turn around and find out whoever comes from Arizona, make plays against them. Hack to me on the metal, on metal alone, he goes to one. Well, that's he the thing. To, I mean, to me, to, to me, like you were saying, like you said, but you were trying to defend, like saying he's the X factor to me is not crazy because he has personal reasons why it should be an X factor in terms of financial gain for what's going to happen in April to him. And right. then he also has legacy. Um, there's there's a legacy element of that for him at 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 this school that he's done so much for too that's been challenged like to me if i was cj like that would be all i needed to come out here and just put together my two best performances in college football and say thank you guys so much i'm out and and just ride off in the sunset like it would be fantastic for the kid for a kid who's had so much expectation like if he can compartmentalize it like that and come out and play well would be phenomenal yeah. No, I agree. I, I don't think it's wrong to say he's the X factor. I don't. I think he's got a lot on his shoulders, both as you mentioned for Ohio State and for himself. And the goal is to win. The goal is always to win. And so he's going to have to push him. He's got. He's going to have to push himself to do more to make sure that they win. And that's going to be the part. That's why I mentioned the legs. That's why I mentioned being able to to move some guys around with those legs. Him. That Georgia has to respect the fact that he might pull that yeah. when they run that zone. He might pull it and take off. They, mm-hmm. they, you have to make them respect that because what they've seen on film so far, they don't need to really respect it. I mean, this is a guy that's ran for 74 yards, and I know that includes sacks, but that's yeah, he, they, that's that's not scary right now. No, it's not scary, but what is scary – he looks at more killers skill-wise in his huddle than maybe any of the other four teams do theirs to the exception of Georgia with those tight ends. But like he, he's got guys in his huddle who can win the game on their own. If left alone, Ohio state, Georgia, Atlanta, that'll be one 